Hey, what's up? You are tuned into the I'm Just Bougie show, <laughs> where I just finally had to say in life, I don't know, I'm just bougie. <laughs> anyway, if this is your first time to my channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can also find me on Twitter, where I want to build our community at OG underscore Shook Avery, and that's also the same name on Instagram. Again, let's get into this show. It's going to be a two part, so. I'm gonna do this one really just really talking about the bullshit the real fuck niggery that is going on here <laughs> with Bootsy um I don't know if you've been living under a rock Bootsy this week is in the news for coming out and admitting to providing or setting up um a grown his own words grown grown woman to provide oral sex to his nephews and his sons when they were around 12 or 13 years old Anybody who's a Bootsy fan like I am, and I mean, I'm a Bootsy fan, Touchdown, and I think it's Touchdown and Cause Hell, his first album he released when he came out of prison, I still play that. I still play it. <laughs> I still play that. I'm Dirty Diana. I still play I still play the song. I still play it. So I'm really musically a fan of his music. But off, you know, off the music, you know, and I'm learning how to separate the two a little bit on certain things, but what I won't do when it comes to an artist and music, I won't separate it when it comes to violence towards women. I won't separate it when it comes to children and any type of abuse when it comes to children. Um, yeah, violence towards women, emotional, anything that you're doing that is just making you a shit poor ass person, it's hard for me to separate in some cases and some things. So violence against women, mental abuse or anything like that, um, violence against children, anything anything against children, I, I'm, I can't support that. Um, you know, rape, Things like that, um, things that like R. Kelly's been accused of, like, you know, stuff like that I can't support. Now, if it's just allegations and some stuff that I don't feel like evidence is sufficient enough, I'll come to my decision on that. But generally, I try to separate it. And so that's what I've done with Bootsy. So I've been such a big fan. But like I said, off off the music and seeing interviews he's done, I've always noticed that he is really heavily fixated on homosexuality to the point it's like disturbing it's like brother man what happened in angola to you like it's it sounds like trauma like it sounds like some type of something happened um that we don't know of and it's just manifesting itself and how he's raising his kids and what he's like kind of putting his, his kids through it's abusive at this point um it got so big to the point this week in news that people have called the police people have called protective Ser child protective service on him because this is a crime. Those kids are 12 or 13 years old. And there's this mindset in certain communities and certain black community, pockets of black communities. This is just a boy becoming a man. Um, but in those same pockets of the black community, they don't talk about the mental health or the issues that comes behind um, a young boy who then becomes a man and the things that he has to deal with, with being sexually abused. Um, check out Jovi Beauty. I, I, she did an amazing job of summarizing it up on what happens to a little boy who's been sexually abused and how they internalize and it. It becomes hate for women and you know, they really have a hard time in being in relationships because they were abused by women. And so when they become adults, it kind of comes across as a little bit hate women. Um, I've seen it before. <laughs> and I've been at the mercy of somebody who I um, believe, believe has suffered there. So I most definitely have seen what this looks like. So let me continue to read it. I'm going to read the article from Madame Noir. It was clear from the comments about Zaya Wade, and that's D. Wade's... <laughs> So if you don't know, Zaya Wade is D. Wade's son who has decided to become or dress like a female. I want to say dress like a female. Um, it became so concerning because Bootsy turned around and inserted himself into like this situation, which should have been like a dope situation where everyone was just could have supported supportive parents of a young child, right? So the child comes out and says that he wants to dress as a female. That's all we've been told is that this kid is really proud to kind of be examining and feeling comfortable with saying, I think I'm gay. And, you know, I don't even know if he's came out, but he's just, you know, really coming out of his shell and he's doing it publicly. And so everyone's been trying to be really supportive. This dickhead Bootsy is just like he came out like he was like Martha Luther King and he was just trying to save this child <laughs> like he came out like he was really that disturbed and that angry to the point where he like inserted his own opinions or his own thoughts 
or just like kind of felt like certain people were just like making up shit to be mad at D Wade and even insinuating that it had something to do. I mean, the public and everyone's been insinuating that it had something to do with D Wade and Gabrielle Union and what's going on in the house. And, you know, she's came out and said, she, I think he likes his allegedly he likes his booty played with or he likes his behind eaten something she said about his behind so there's been this like passive aggressive thing going on in the black community where people were just like feeling like something's not right you know what i'm saying that's why this kid's like that no this kid is his own person as people who are parents or you've had to help raise kids i have a three-year-old niece and i swear she's 33 like people developed into their own people and so that's why the notion or the thought that Bootsy thought like setting up his kids to receive oral sex would somehow, you know, <laughs> guarantee that they wouldn't be gay is just so weird. Like he just is so weird. Um, but the part about Zaya that which is which is so funny when I said people were just making up shit like D Wade and them never came out and said, oh, Zaya is thinking about or we're considering getting um, Zaya a sex change. This was all the public, right? The kid is like, I think she's like, she's like nine or ten or something like that. And I could be wrong, but it's like very pre adolescent, like very young, like something that a doctor would never even perform because the body's not even developed. So it's like, it was just a lot of craziness and a lot of assumptions that people made and things that were just never said. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah. So it was clear from the comments about Zaya Wade that Bootsy was perhaps too preoccupied with the child's sexuality and genitalia. I chalked it up to general transphobia and ignorance as his part. I most definitely did too. That's like, that's how what I thought. It's like, this is some ignorant ass project ass shit. Like, this is dumb. Like, and like, this is so dumb. <laughs> no, that's literally what I thought because I'm just like, are you serious? Like, are you, what are you trying to breed? What are you trying to breed? Lusty sex boys or something like that like it was just so weird but let me continue reading but i should have known if boosie had all this energy for someone else's child god only knows what he was doing in his own home with with his own children like literally like some stuff makes you be like listen i'm concerned and this is one of those things like you are literally i'm literally concerned because like i pay i've paid attention to things that boosie has done offline like online um i think there was a video clip that was released probably like a year ago where he was just yelling at one of his children um explicitly calling names i've listened to interviews with the one of the um baby mothers in louisiana he's starting to get her killed allegedly all this shit is allegedly if you believe any of this shit that's your problem and you need you know you need help <laughs> anyway so it <laughs> anyway so like i'm like he's really disgusting he's done some really toxic ass shit so let me finish reading sadly during a recent instagram live video boosie gave us the answer to to that question in a weed induced confession the louisiana rapper shared an extremely disturbing story about a parenting decision he made for his son and nephews and this is his exact words they got it for quote ain't finna give my son no motherfucking shit out here i'm training them boys right i'm training them boys right ask any of my nephews ask any of them ask my son when they were 12 slash 13 they got head that's how it's supposed to be hell yeah i got my fucking son's sup <laughs> you effing right yes a grown woman grown super grown checked his ass out checked all my nephews out super grown shit she checked me out that bitch i know what she did to them i'm getting them boys prepared man what the hell would you be getting your sons prepared for that you think they need to be prepared about knowing what sex is at 12 or 13 only thing i can think of is that you are trying to prepare them to be like overly sexual boys like in high school and just taking everything down and going through that weird stage of in your 20s and thinking that's what it means to be a man is having all this unnecessary un like sex but like what what exactly is it that he think he's preparing it for I'll continue reading. In case there is any confusion, this is rape. Facilitating a sexual encounter between a child and an adult is illegal. Children can't consent to acts with adults. So anyone who puts them in this position is creating a con, con what is it? Conceived environment. Any and 
And any woman who performed any type of sexual act on these children is a rapist, even if she was aided by the child's parent. I know that's right. I don't care who told you to do that. You got common sense. People just think that you are it's okay to <laughs> negate your common sense or what you all what you know to be wrong. Fuck it being illegal. What do you know to be wrong in life? Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, don't negate that feeling. Go with that feeling. <laughs> From the video, Bo Bootsy seems to suggest that his rationale for allowing a woman to rape his son and nephew. I'm sorry. Rape his, rape his son and nephew was because he was training them upright. What? The message is not explicit, but I can only assume that in his mind, being raped by a woman with the help of their father would cause his sons and nephews to be heterosexual when they're able to make their own sexual decisions. Yeah, because bisexual and download men don't exist. But anyway, sadly, Boosie is not alone in these beliefs. He is so not alone. <laughs> What's wrong with you niggas? We've all heard a tale of countless men who regard children molestation as losing their virginity or their first sexual experience. We're, we're a culture that celebrates the sexual proudness of men so much that we don't seem to care if they're just boys when sexuality is predatorily forced upon them. These stories are far too common. So much that grown men like Charlemagne and Columbus Short are just now learning to call what happened to them molestation or rape. Little Wayne, also from Louisiana, shared that he was raped at 11 years old and loved it. And we see what a wreck of a person he is. Like, he's like the epitome of hating women. Y'all yeah, remember that disgusting shit he said about dark-skinned women and happy that Toya and his daughter, Regine, um, have money because they, they would have a hard time in life because of their darker skin. Which is, you know, that is true. That is that that is something that really happens. But to knowingly say that as if though, like the ignorance behind the way he said it was just disgusting. He didn't say it in a way of like, this is wrong or women of darker skin complexion shouldn't be discriminated. My my ex-wife and my daughter are beautiful. You, like not to say that. And he like, on the flip side, he didn't say that. But all his other BMs are very light skinned women. I think I think Nivea is the only the the only other one that's not as light because I mean sometimes they're makeup so you really can't see but Lauren London and Nivea are really fair skin but you know he goes out his way to now to just date I think it's rumored allegedly he's married to an Asian woman so y'all know what the money does they flip and they be way different we all remember and this is what the article says r kelly's brother carrie traces the singer's sexual deviancy yo that should be real y'all when you just see some sort of sexual deviancy like you're just like do you think of anything else is there anything else you can talk about is there anything else on your mind like you just know like something is not right <laughs> i'm sorry that was my own personal shit in there <laughs> sexual deviancy back to the alleged molestation they both experienced at the hands of their older sister when they were children so this is r kelly's brother we remember watching carrie during the um during the um you know the lifetime special whatever with r kelly and we all could see that there was something wrong with all of them you can see that there's something wrong with all of them now we haven't met this older sister but you know these apples don't fall too far from trees you know what i mean <laughs> like ain't like you know me and my brothers and sisters have all have some of the similar traits. I'm just saying. <laughs> but with these brothers and sisters, like, you can clearly tell there's something wrong. I think one brother thought the other brother should have took the charges for 100000 One brother thought it was like, that's his preference. How you gonna judge a man for his preference? Like, really disgusting shit. Um, but the younger brother seems like the one who, like, knows what has happened and what has caused a lot of, like, damage in all of their lives. But, you know, he still have his issues, too. I, I think Carrie... No, okay, so Carrie was the younger one. But the older brother who's in jail, like, he seems like he didn't see nothing wrong with nothing. Like, he wasn't wanting to admit nothing. Everything was fine. Everything was, like, kind of, like... Like, what do you mean? Like, what's wrong with it? <laughs> All right. Like, it, it was just weird. Like, I was nervous. Anyway, the difference with hair is these boys, now men, were not led to these exploitative, predatory, statutory rape scenarios with the aid of their parent or uncle, like Boosie is doing to the children in his life. So basically, they're just saying like, yeah, okay, whatever happened to R. Kelly and his sisters and his, you know, brothers, that these were children doing it. You get what I'm saying? And it wasn't like an adult setting it up to happen. And that's the difference, right? That Because what happened to R. Kelly, like, 
as much as it was wrong, it was kind of a choice. You know what I mean? Wrong, bad, bad, because there was an older sister who took advantage. Um, but she was also a minor too. And I don't know anybody. I don't know anybody who hasn't like kind of experienced when they were young. So I just happened. Um, and that most definitely was wrong. Um, what else did I want to say on that? But yeah, the difference is that Booty is a grown ass man who is knowingly setting it up for his own sadistic ass reasons. For years, fans of his um, music passively advocated for his release from prison. Now with these comments coming up to light, he might be returning <laughs> from whence he came. Like for real. Like <laughs> we used to say free Booty. Now it's lock up Booty. You get what I'm saying? Like for real. Let me make my sign ASAP, ASAP, ASAP. So basically, like, and it was just like a, a week of just like craziness. Like, it was just a week of craziness when it came to Bootsy because this led to the very next, maybe if it wasn't the next day, two days later, the state su is suing him for not paying child support for one of his children. You know, the, he's the ultimate father. He's making sure the boys are getting taken care of disgusting um so they're suing him from that he then had a ex-affiliate by the name of webby who he used to rap with came out talking against him and i didn't really care about that that was just some old nigger tree shit like oh you making it you still getting money and you're not looking out like it just seemed all like you know when you the one who's getting it everyone thinks you owe them type of shit <laughs> so yeah that's all that seems to be like they're no longer friends bootsy's still out here getting money webby's not and he feels some sort of way. That's how it came across to me. So to me, that one about nothing at all. Again, like I said, you know, I wanted to talk about it a little bit and just talk about like Boosie's disgusting. We're, nobody's out here should be advocating for young boys to use lose their virginity at such a young age. Like, and it's just sad because the problem it makes it seem like Bootsy, like what happened to you? You know what I'm saying? What happened in Angola? We will fight for you, Bootsy. Just let us know what happened <laughs> at this point. Like who did it? who did it like at this point that's how it comes across like you just want to say bootsy who did it because you are really obsessed with shit that has nothing to do with you and it's disgusting all right that's all i got and i gotta go because y'all know i'm trying to keep these videos from 10 to 15 minutes and we're already over two minutes oh bye <laughs>